So guys, I'm currently at work and I'm going to get ready for work basically. So Welcome to my channel. My name is Claire Gigi. <laughs> so Claire Gigi is not really my like legit name. I made up Gigi, um, but you will call me Claire Gigi. Okay, it's my made up name. My name is Claire. Um, when you know something, it's good to try to help somebody else know it. You know. Um, yes. <laughs> so my experience, I did work with. Pa I worked with Popeyes for a year now okay and I'm going to talk in the past because currently I'm not working there no more I should have stopped working there this month if you guys really want to know why I stopped working there I quit by the way if you guys want to know let me know down in the comment and I will make a story time but this video is not about no drama okay okay this is just going to tell you what it's like working at Popeyes if you want a job at Popeyes. But it's like a regular job. You just put like an application and you get an interview and then you get a job. But me, I didn't go through that process because I know people that work in Popeyes. So I just got the job like this, okay? So I got the job in Popeyes and I'm not going to lie. The first day was like, like, so basically you're doing cashier. All the girls are in the front mostly guys are in the back so they need two positions in Popeyes only two positions okay the two positions beside like manager or supervisor whatever on uh, the two positions they have is fryer and cashier so the fryers are the one cooking the food so they basically get the one cooking the chicken mixing like uh, the spices and stuff for the chicken so that job is only guys who does it no girls okay it's mostly i don't know if some states they have girls but that job is mostly guys it's only guys actually okay so you always have a, uh, a guy fryer in the back mixing the chicken cooking the chicken and the girls are in the front some boys are in the front also okay so if you're a boy you want to work cashier they're gonna give it to you also you know so you're doing cashier first you have to train and the training basically they start teaching you how you take the orders they start to teach you the register okay and the register I'm not gonna lie the first day training if you don't have a passion for customer service you will want to quit the same day okay so just what I will say is that the first day is gonna be rough the first couple of days is going to be rough because you are going to look at the register like mathematic basically you want to look at the register like what the heck what the heck because there's a lot of buttons there's a lot of, a lot of options a lot of specials but don't worry just know that you are learning okay this is training you might even get better than the people that are already there that's what you have to think about okay you knew everything that's new you have to learn it so don't just quit the same day don't just quit the first week you are it's a process you have to learn you have to learn to walk before you can run you have to learn to crawl before you can walk okay it's a process so just don't give up and see okay i always tell everybody this okay 
when you first go in a job before you leave the job before you decide to quit okay you should wait and give at least give the job at least one month after one month is when you really gonna realize that it's time for me to quit or it's time for me i can't handle it no more but don't just leave the same week or the same day so i got there the first day oh my gosh everybody was nice okay so the workers are always gonna try to be nice to you try to help you and stuff and then they're not gonna give you too much things to do the first day they're mostly gonna make you just look at them take the take orders help you pack the orders and give you the register uh thing actually if you guys want comment down below uh, there's a way i could i have pictures of the registers and everything i can actually teach you guys how to use the register and Popeyes because I was looking for a video like that when I first started working and there was no video on YouTube so if you guys want to know how to use the register I actually have a lot of pictures and I could get videos from people that I have inside I could tell you guys how to use the register so let me know in another video I'll make it for you guys so basically training usually takes four hours a day or three hours they don't keep you for too long okay but like I say the first two days is gonna be stressful because you're gonna feel like you can't do it okay but even if you're a fast learner it's kind of hard but after like three days if you're a fast learner you should get the hand of it but if you're like a slow learner it's gonna take you like a week okay it don't take you that long like a week or two okay like i'm telling you after a couple of days this thing gets so easy you can do it in your sleep like i'm telling you after a whole week i'm taking orders in my sleep i'm taking orders i'm sleeping i'm like okay make you know a number five fries mac and cheese is um popeyes is actually not a bad job okay i actually really liked popeyes i really like popeyes i worked at mcdonald's keep that in mind i worked at mcdonald's when i was um uh, 15. i worked 16. i worked at mcdonald's for one month i had to quit like mcdonald's McDonald's is not the job like no no offense to McDonald's workers some people love it but me personally like it was too much to handle you have to like run like da, 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 da. Popeyes on the other hand we don't have that much food we don't have that much options it's easier to process the uh to learn to pack so Popeyes is way easier than McDonald's yes I'm saying it and it's true okay I work both jobs it's way easier so I actually end up loving Popeyes and the customers obviously everywhere in life you get bad and you get good customers so don't worry about that you know you have to know you have to practice okay one thing i'm gonna give you guys some advice the first advice i'm going to give you guys is you need to speak loud okay so you need to speak loud that's the first advice okay the second advice i'm going to give you guys is you need to not okay keep asking the customers what did they say you see how when you're talking and somebody keep asking you what did you say you get pissed after a couple times right make sure you don't ask the customer what they need to repeat themselves more than twice okay if you can't hear them of course it's good to re ask them to repeat but don't be asking them like more than twice to repeat themselves it gets annoying so you need to make sure you open your ears you make sure you like focus to actually hear what they say okay because if they get annoyed and you're gonna get annoyed also asking what they say and the line is gonna get longer so make sure you on point you know you can hear them because sometimes they speak low so make sure you like tell them speak louder please you know and the third one i'm going to give you guys is don't make your life miserable okay you know you're gonna have to deal with customers you know in life you get bitter and sweet if you're gonna come to work and just like the first customer you have you're going to give them attitude the first customer you're gonna like spend the whole day giving your customer attitude or watching what your root customer do what your root customer say and get mad because your customer is rude you want to have a miserable life okay don't get offended by every little thing you know just laugh about it you know take a customer just know that if they're rude you just to give them their food and then they get out you know they leave they shut it up nothing is like permanent okay they come and go so just give them their food and then say bye bye have a good day that's it you know so just get used to it and you're gonna find out even the rude customers are going to like you if you just don't give them a fuck like sorry you'll be surprised how many bad rude customers that i say have a good day after they do something stupid so just be in a good mood and don't really give a fuck you know and just like let them like leave you know don't keep them in don't argue just you know and plus this is how it works you're not supposed to argue with the customers you know how they like customers always right you know just like 
stick to that you know even if it's not fair that customers are always right but you get the point just like go with it okay and yes what else the other advice I would give you is you come to work make sure that you go to work to work you don't go to work to just stand around okay I do know a lot of people that go to work to just watch other people work and guess what our co-workers are going to hate you behind your back or in front of you whatever they're gonna hate you and your customers are going to see how lazy you are some customer come to me and they be like okay can you take my order because i don't want that person to take my order that person don't care can you take my order well don't come to work to stand around don't come to work to you know stay in the bathroom like we're all friends in there i'm not saying to not talk to them i'm saying that to do your job and then when there's no customer go ahead you know have fun i have fun all the time everybody in there is friends you know trying to make friends with everybody in there but i'm saying that if you have work to do don't just stand around and you know like people will notice that shit okay people notice you might think nobody noticed you people will notice and soon you might just get fired out of nowhere <laughs> this video is getting too long okay so your duty at Popeyes is this if you open you come and you start cleaning okay what's likely you don't have to clean in the morning because the night shift people before they close the store they clean but what I mean by clean is to like fix the stuff okay but most likely they should already be fixed you just come you get dressed and then you you have to wash your hands obviously and then you just prepare to put your numbers on the register and then you prepare to take orders okay you open the lights you fix the carpets on the floor and you start taking orders okay so that's all you do until you take order but you take orders and then you also pack the food a lot of people don't know that they think they can just like take orders but no we take the orders and we also pack the food okay that's how we do it and packing is easy so don't worry about that it's easy peasy okay you give them their food and then they go and then if we have uh, lobbies you have to go outside you know every couple hours you will just clean the lobby you don't have to wait for people to ask you okay let me give you that don't wait for people to ask you to do stuff you can just go outside and clean the lobby you can just go inside you see a mess on your counter if there's nobody you go and clean it okay if there's a customer don't wait for somebody to tell you to go take that customer you know how to take the customers you just go and you take the customers let me tell you how you can um greet your customers let me listen to that you can say hi welcome to Popeyes good morning welcome to Popeyes or good afternoon welcome to Popeyes hi may I take your order okay but make sure you don't say next or you don't say come or you don't say I'm ready like make sure you're just like polite any way that's easier and more comfortable for you go ahead you don't have to say everything that I just said you can just say it your own way but make sure you're just polite and welcoming okay you can create your own you know greeting okay just be professional and that's it really and then when they're leaving just make sure you say thank you i have a good day you know don't do it because you have to do it that's one advice i'm gonna tell you if you feel like you're going to say oh have a good day because you feel like it's your job to say it don't don't say it you can you don't have to say it you're not gonna say nothing just say it because you feel like it's right think about it it act like it is your house right somebody come to your house and buy something from you are you not gonna tell that person thank you have a good day because they just come and buy something from you just act like it's your items right it's the same thing they come to Popeyes okay and they come and buy something it makes sense to say thank you have a good day you know it don't have to be your business to do it just if you know it's right to do it do it and it's right okay if you like you don't think it's right don't don't take like waste your time okay do it because it's right and it's the right thing to do yes <laughs> and i'm always a nice i don't nice one so <laughs> just make sure you keep count of your time okay because they do get it mixed up sometimes and by the way food is free you don't have to pay for quack you don't have to pay for shit okay so your break time you can take anything you want i was just so happy to make this video and i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys get a job at popeyes let me know and tell me how you like it and any advice i'll give it to you guys okay have a good one thank you for watching this video Running through these checks like the ones on my shoes So don't get geeked up, bitch, like your feet up Hop to the get geeked up, bitch, I got nothing to do Running through these checks like the ones Geeked up, bitch, like your feet up Hop to the
Tell that how I'm moving